Hello and welcome everyone to Monday Night Twitch. I am your host, Mike the Wandering Took. Joining me, as always, is my friend and co-host, Daniel, Mr. Big Foam Loaf. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Well, I'm a little worried, Mike. That uh, this map goes straight up from here? It's very forbidding. Indeed. Indeed. Welcome to Scenario 2 of Edge of the Earth. I know, it's, nice. it felt like we were in that first scenario for ages. Like three. We ages. stuck around to the campsite, didn't we? We did. We're just, just getting our bearings. We're just getting our bearings. Yeah, we crash landed. We uh, we searched around the place, found some old supplies, saved Doctor Kensler from some baddies, and then f stood our ground while we were assaulted by seeping nightmares. Yeah, we kicked butt. But now it's time to continue. Yeah. It's time to continue. Looks like we have to climb a mountain, eh? We do. And I had a rocking opening hand, which is good because you said you didn't have a rocking opening hand. I have a, a not so rocking opening hand. Yeah. I just, I feel a little, uh, you know, a little naked without my wrench. Yeah. Or a sledgehammer, for that matter. Yeah. But, and, you know, maybe they'll just uh, hold me down as I try to climb a mountain. I don't know. We'll find out. And my first flip from. Short supply will determine whether this is a bonkers game or a regular game. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. So well, let we'll... me read you a story. Please do, because there's lots going on. Okay, yep. Scenario two to the Forbidden Peaks. Intro one. The wind howls as your party prepares for the long journey ahead. There's very little conversation. Even if you could hear each other's muffled voices through your earmuffs and scarves, what would you say? The silence of your shared terror is loud enough. Your destination is many miles ahead of you. The jagged peaks loom far on the horizon, taunting you. You run a mental checklist of your situation. Mike, I'm going to have to ask you to check the campaign log for me. Yes, I will. Mike, is Elia Ashevik alive? Yes. Do we have the wooden sledge? Uh, the wooden sledge has been recovered. Okay. It is not large or sturdy enough to carry all of us, Elia explains as he hauls the last crate of supplies under the old sledge, but it should be able to carry our provisions and equipment at least. He makes sure the lines are taut and all the dog's harnesses are properly fastened before giving on you, at the head of the pack, a scratch behind her ears. Not looking forward to having to lug this thing up the mountains, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, girl, you ready? On you barks once. Yeah, I know you are. The investigators suffer no ill effects. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> um is avery claypool alive he is uh let me just let me check let me check it's claypool claypool yes claypool is a little hurt but he's alive but he's alive he's okay weather might look uh, clear right now claypool explains but it could turn on a dime we'll be on ice for most of the journey so we'll be on the lookout for cracks we need ice about 60 centimeters thick in order to walk across so stay behind me at all times and i'll use this auger to make sure it's safe he holds up a spiral tip drilling device and leads the way. The investigators suffer no ill effects. <laughs> He's starting to get an idea of why you shouldn't let these guys die. <laughs> That's beginning to make some sense. All right. Is Takata Hiroko alive? Yes. As you set out, you hear Takata singing something under her breath, just quiet enough that you can't tell what it is. One of the others, however, seems to recognize it. That song again, they say. Heard you singing it on the... Th the Theodosia on the way over. Takata sighs. It is a song my father taught me. Helps me pass the time, she explains. You ask if she would like to teach it to you, and she gives you the first smile you've seen from her since the trek began. Yes, yes, I would. You spend the remainder of the journey singing and bonding together, whittling the time away. The investigators suffer no ill effects. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> did we scout the mountain pass? We did. We did. Yeah. You see got the safe pass that you and Ellsworth scouted last night, guiding the rest of the team onward. Sheer cliffs flank you as you approach the foothills, blocking the chill wind. The shortcut gives you swift passage as you begin your trek up the peaks. During setup, Mike, when we reveal the starting location, reduce its clue value by half. Sweet. Okay. Cool. You hike through the ice and snow for many grueling hours. Luckily, you encounter no more of the creatures from the previous few days, leading you to ponder if it was all some cruel mirage. But as you draw closer to the base of the jagged snow-tipped mountains, you find another manner of creature altogether. It lies frozen and half-buried in the snow, like a macabre way marker guiding you onward. Its body is shaped like a drum, with 
thick hide and a pair of torn leathery wings. A starfish-shaped appendage sticks out of the snow from its top half, adorned with five dead eyes and a set of prismatic cilia. Five sets of tentacles lie frozen in the ice. The sight of the thing chills you more than the Antarctic weather possibly could. There can be no doubt. This is one of the elder things that Professor Dyer and Danforth encountered the last time they ventured into the heart of Antarctica. But what killed it? Surely it was not just the cold. Ooh! Yup. Proceed to set up now, Mike. What do you have to tell us? Okay, we may each choose a member of the investigation team. Join us. Hmm. Yeah. Who do you want? I feel like I always choose first. Who do you want? Well, the last couple times, because you've been so, you know, fruit free with throwing snowflakes in the bag, I've been snatching up Claypool. Uh, <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. We have four of those, by the way. Uh, Rolled is awesome as always, although he's getting pretty beat up. Yeah. Mala is, I mean, I guess it depends how much damage and horror you think you're taking this time. Well... I think... Do we want to get up this mountain quickly? Uh, maybe I should... Maybe I should take a liar. Attempt to evade. Because he moves you if you succeed. He does. May or may not be hmm. useful, depending on the situation. Alright, Claypool's beat up. Maybe I'll take... Hmm. Oh, we do have Kensler. I never need money. I don't need money anymore. Yeah, I think I'll take... Um... God, we lost the guy that heals horror, didn't we? No, we didn't. That's uh, Dire. Oh, that's Dire. He just can't take any um... damage. Any damage. Yeah. Oof. I'll take him. I'm taking Claypool then. All right then. And I'm going to try to be nice to him. All right. Did you say you're going to try to be nice to him? Yeah. Well, All right. He's he's really good right now. All right. So why don't you tell us about the mountainside here? Okay. So what else did we have to? Oh, well, there's there's a couple other. A couple other things we should know. Uh, we have earned one of these ugly tokens. What's an ugly token? The elder thing. Oh, the elder thing. Yep, we have earned it. Okay. Just by just by being here. So this mountain is, of course, a mountain. It goes up into the sky. Our goal is it to does. get to the summit. It's quite simple. The mountainside says you cannot enter this location unless all of the clues on the location directly below it have been discovered. Oh. So why? That's why it's beneficial that we cut our clues in half. Okay. Yes. All right. We reveal the first one. After you move to this from a location below it, exhaust each asset you control. Well, good thing that's not there. Right. Okay. And it's so worth victory. It's, Ooh, it's worth and then victory. we add the add the slug to the bag. We yep. check the supplies recovered. And yes. put each expedition story asset listed there into play at the level zero location. Yep. So we have a green soapstone at the location. Okay. It's an asset, four nice. charges. When you perform a successful attack, you can spend a charge and exhaust it to deal plus one damage for that attack. Okay. Looking at you for that. Yep. Wooden sledge. Exhaust it and investigate this location. Search the top six cards of their deck for up to three non-weakness item or supply cards and attaches them face down to wooden sledge. Shuffle their deck. Uh, while it's under an investigator's control, face-down cards attached to it may be played as if they were in the hand of any investigator at its location. Okay. So it's a, it's awesome. It's awesome. So and, we will take these things, right? Uh, well, we'll get there. Okay. Spare parts uses three supplies. Uh, exhaust and spend a supply to gain a resource. Okay, so these things are right now sitting at the snow-covered crag. Okay. We'll, we'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, there's some difficulty stuff we don't have to worry about. You have five to Kelly Lee weaknesses. I have three. 
uh, each location is connected to the location below it and the location above it. Okay. Now let's uh, rush to the action agenda and we'll get the rest of the rules. Okay. Agenda 1A, Forbidden Peaks. You arrive at the foothills of the menacing mountain. The strange caves and odd formations of the mountain summit beg to be explored. Forced, after you move to a location, return all your clues to the token pool. After you move okay. to a location. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Act 1A, okay. Ascend the Mountain. Carrying as much expedition gear as you can, you must climb the imposing mountainside to unlock the secrets that lie on the other side. Mm. As an action, take control of an expedition asset at your location. I see. Okay. There is an achievement for this, and that is to get seven assets to the top. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't do that. Great. All right. Yeah. And... Uh, there we go. Just, you know, one, two, three, four, five, five moves. That's all we need. Popcorn's ready. Well, that seems easy <laughs> enough. <laughs> it does. Uh, yeah. So who wants to go first? Um, I will. Sure. I think I'm going to take control of the soapstone. What a great idea. And it doesn't take up anything, right? Nope. Just, just put it in. I'll put it there. Then, my other actions are beginning to be pretty quick. I will spend two on the Bangle of Jinxes and nothing on a keepsake. Lovely. That's me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to require a little bit of setup, but it's going to be oh so worth it. Okay. Let's do some unscrupulous loaning. For action one. Uh, action two, red clock. Oh, wow. Action three, scavenging. Oh, I bet you're very pleased. I am very, very, very pleased. <laughs> That's quite a start for you, Bob. Oh, sorry. Right. I, have to, I, have to pa I have to throw ten things away. Shovel. That's good. Last chance. Oh, well. Scrunch for supplies. Oh, well. The catalog. Excellent. The devil! The devil's been thrown away! Ha ha! Bandages. To Kelly Lee thrown away. Greed thrown away. Oh, this is a good game. Uh, I lost my thinking, though, and I lost resourceful. Okay, so key points to consider. Well Connected is still in my deck, and I have Red Clock in play. So okay. I'm liking this a lot. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Now, Monster Phase, no monsters. Go ahead and upkeep. Ugh. Eon Chart. What'd you get? Another bangle. Oh, man, I keep... You know, I could have played your bangle if that would have helped you do something. Like, as my action. I would have... Um... I don't know what I would have done. Oh, wait a so... minute. Hang on, hang on. My red clock's an item. You know what I would have done? I would have picked up the wooden sledge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hold on. I guess set my cameras again. Oh yeah. How much? Let's start the threshold here. Is it six? Six. six. Yep. So there's one. Uh, do you want to be a first draw? Sure. Did you shuffle the deck? No, I did not. We should probably do that because, as we know, okay. this thing does not really get shuffled. No. Okay. Uh, oh. Constricting elder thing. Hunter. That doesn't sound good. He has one hit point. X is the level of your location. While it's engaged with you, you cannot move to locations above your location. Fun. Would you like, like me to punch that in the face? Absolutely. Through the ice, attached to the nearest location without a copy. I guess that's us. That is absolutely us. As an additional cost to enter or leave. Test two agility. If you fail, cancel the effects of the move, take a damage and horror, and discard through the ice. Dude, I should have taken that guy that gives me evade. But no, you didn't let me. It doesn't give you evade. It only lets you evade enemies. Oh, yeah. Mind. That would I do absolutely nothing <laughs> against that one. All right. Here we are. Here we are. So. I guess you want me to do something? Uh, please. I mean, I, I could hit it. 
I would be a six on a three. And I'd prefer, I prefer it is, but I'd prefer if that wasn't my action. Okay, I'm only a five on a three. Really? You can't boot. Oh. I mean, I could boost it with the bangle. Well, hang on. What else have I got here? I mean, I'm happy to do it. My only problem That's is why if, I'm here. if I miss, I'm spending two more actions hitting even. That's my worry. I'll hit him. All right, you ready? Yep. I'm spending a charge, so I'm up a bunch. Here we go. Oh, there you go. He's gone. He is gone. Thank you. Yep. And then I guess I'll do some other things. Um, what is our shroud here? I'm looking at my character right now. It is a two. Oh, that's it? Rats. All right. And we need to get those things before we can move up, right? We do. Okay. I'm going to... Hmm, I didn't pull my keychain, did I? I did not. I got my shovel, my catalog, the bandages. Well, I don't have a ton to do here, Mike. Um, so I am going to draw. Okay. And then I'll play that. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to take the bandolier. I'm going to take the sledge. What? I already or took, you the, took sledge. the sledge. What spare parts? Get supply the resources. And add a supply to another asset at your location. Hmm. Oh, right. It's a supply thing. Huh. Sadly, the bangle is a charge, not a supply. This is a uses. Yeah. All my guys are secrets and charges and charges, and so I'm just going to play the bandolier. Okay. All Let's right. See. In that case, Daniel, please search sure. the top six cards of your deck for up to three oh. non-weakness item or supply cards. Where do they go if I find them? Just pull them out. I'll, I'll grab them. One card was found. A good one. Sledgehammer, hey? You found a sledgehammer. Uh, Okie dokie. I will use my free action to play that sledgehammer on you. I thought you weren't allowed to do that. Oh, shoot. Hang Until on, you get shrewd dealings, right? Based on cards attached to any... To it maybe yeah you're right uh wait i can use my action to play an item asset from the hand of an investigator at your location under their control right so you'd have uh, to, i would have to be the one under investigators the based on the hand of any investigator okay this, i can choose these items this item is in your hand as per wooden sledge i can treat okay. that as a, as your hand which means i'm allowed to okay. pay for it using my action Done. I'm totally on board with that. All right. Awesome. Uh, I am also taking my red clock tick as a resource. Okay. And my first test will be to investigate with a seven. Oh. Seven minus three. Oh, yeah. We should have a look at this. So skulls are minus X, which is the level of your location. Cultists, minus one. If you fail, move one location below you. Ooh. Yeah. Minus three, if you fail, lose control of an expedition asset and place it at your location. The Elder Thing, of which there's one in the bag, if you fail, the nearest Elder Thing moves once towards you. If it's engaged with you, it attacks. So there is okay. one Cultist, one Elder Thing, and there are two of the tablets. So the minus threes are the ones to... I mean, they're not horrible. That Cultist is actually a worse effect. Yeah. Okay. The point is, I just got myself a clue, and I'm allowed to scavenge. Whoops. Nope. So I think I'm going to scavenge back my Schaffner's catalog. Uh, so I have done now exactly one thing, right? Uh, isn't it an action to do the sledge? Yes, so I've done exactly two things. You've done exactly two things, yes. Let's get these uh, Eon charts out. 
which I can do because I have Relic Hunter. Okay. Now I'm doing good. Okay. Uh, enemy phase. No enemies. Hang on, hang on. Can... Sorry, sorry. I should oh. be I should be down one action, one resource. I forget. I forgot which red clock I was on. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next turn, I get the the resource. All right. Upkeep. Winging it. I like that. Ooh, a heroic rescue. Nice. That's a good one for Daniela to have. It is. All right. Mike, we have two doom. Two doom? All two right. Two doom. Wait. Okay. Rise right. of the Elder Things. Find the topmost Elder Thing enemy in the encounter discard pile and spawn it. Engage with you. It gets plus one fight and plus one evade until the end of the round. That's probably okay. the thing that I just got rid of. Yeah. yeah. So it's still pretty weak, yeah? Yeah, it still only has one health, but it's a, now a four attack, three evade. Okay. And I have drawn hypothermia. That doesn't sound good. Test will three if the level of your location is four or five or deal an additional cast. If you fail, either add us. Oh, you love that. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Will three, eh? A will three. I'm going to... Mike, why do I have quick thinking in my deck? In my hand? Thank Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm up one, and I'm going to get rid of the bangle to be up two. Okay? All right. Whew. Oh, whoo! Take that. I'm warm. Cool. All right, what are we doing? Oh, you got another monster on you. I do. It's rather unfortunate. Uh... Um, I want to move, so can you deal with this thing or not? I can pitch and be up one. That's it. So, Ugh. my red clock makes me awesome every second round. Right. I should have put the stray cat into play last turn. That's what I should have done. Uh, you know what? I have an impromptu barrier in my hand. Okay. Okay, so I, first of all, I take the resource for red clock. I can spend a resource for impromptu barrier. And okay. I'm going to try to evade this thing. And I'm going to pitch the stray cat. So I am now a four on a two. That's all I got. Mm, he's he's a three. No, I impromptu bearer. He's minus one. Oh, okay. Um, I got nothing to help you with, but you've got this. Oh. Okay. Looks like I'm spending <laughs> my eon chart. We're evading. Raw. Oof. Yep. This is this is my problem, right? Bob Jenkins is a one hit guy, so it's uh you're there not... you go. No. I'm even. Oh it's raw. Yeah, it's raw. Oh. This is why Well, now it attacks me. So uh, I'm evading it again. Raw. Well, well, how many times? How many things have you done? Uh, I get three attempts because one of them was free. Uh, this is bad. Yep. Cool. Wow. Okay, that was my turn. All right, Mike. I'm sorry. All right, I just wanted to move. Uh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Not unless you get I that know. clue. Uh, no, I won't leave you with a monster. So, what I will do... Is... By the way, two auto-fails in that run. That was good. That was good. Um... I am at a... He's a... We're even if I use the sledgehammer one-handed. Please don't use it one-handed. Right. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is jury-rig the sledgehammer. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will then. Uh, 
I guess why not two-handed, right? Are you doing anything else? Any... Like, is it worth no. you taking this guy off me? Oh, no, because you have to, you know, two-handed. Just don't miss. Dear God, don't miss. You know what? I'm going to pull him off of you. Okay. Because if he attacks me, that's not the worst thing in the world for me. As you know. Uh, and then I will one-handed sledgehammer him. We are... I'm up two. All right? Yep. And... Yep. Here we go. Minus three. If you fail, you lose control of an expedition asset. Which in this case is your soapstone. Wow. This was a really bad round for us. Yeah, it was it was awful. Good golly. Alright, well that was me. Alright, monster phase. He hits me pretty hard. Yep, one and two. And yeah, I'll take uh I'll take the one, of course. I will put two on the teddy bear. That's what it's there for, right? Yep. Then uh, I was attacked, so I will get a resource. Hey, Sagal Zone. Welcome. And I was attacked. I'm just going to kill the guy. And yes, that was mean. <laughs> with with Daniela Reyes. She just kills him. Awesome. So it wasn't so bad. I mean, it wasn't great. Oh, we lost uh, a whole... We lost a whole round. We though. basically pulled uh, Ancient Evils. Yeah. So, uh, upkeep. Okay. Hey, you could have heroic rescued me? Yeah, but I wanted to move. You're supposed to deal with it and then get the last clue and we could have gotten out of there. That's why I didn't go first. He attacked me. Oh, he did. He totally attacked me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that you'll need another heroic rescue. Probably. Polar Vortex. Okay, we cannot be here. At the Holy end cow, Mike. I'm so sorry. I wish you reminded me of that. You're right, though. That would have been a great play. All right. Your encounter card. What did you get? Polar Vortex. We have to get out of here this turn. Okay. I got... Well, this looks familiar. Why don't I go first? Please. All right. Tick on the red clock. I'm uh, investigating 7 to 4. Minus 1. So I succeed, I get the remaining clue off. Okay. Alright, we're done that. Uh, I get to scavenge. I get... So I'm scavenging back some bandages. I will... Spend $2 for my free action... Bring out chauffeur's catalog. Okay. I will spend Eon chart. Hang on. No, I won't. I've investigated, and that's all I've done, right? Really? Yep. Yep. Okay. Then I am moving. All right. After it's revealed, uh, if it is at level zero, nope. I'm going to take one of that horror, by the way. Oh, wait, I have to do a, a fleetness test. You do. Okay. We're just doing it. You're up one, right? Good golly. Never mind. Now you lose an asset? I lose an asset. Okay, so at least it's gone. One damage, one yeah. horror, and discard through the ice. And a horror. Yeah, I. This is so not working out well. So we're doing we're doing fine. Well, that was two actions, wasn't it? Okay, so my yep. my get out of here. My third action, I'm taking that sledge, and then I'm spending Eon chart to free move. Okay. Okay, so here's the catch, with windswept path. Every time you move to it, you place a clue. So if you're above it and you drop below onto that path, there's a clue there. And you can't get back. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Sounds bad. It's horrible. All right. Okay. I need my turn to work out right. You do. Okay. Step one. 
I'll use my bangle of jangles and a jury rig to be up four with a one-handed sledgehammer. All right. Okay. Nice. Gone. Step two, moving up to you. Do you want the soapstone? I don't know. It's now or never. It is, isn't it? Yep. I kind of wanted to heal you of horror, but maybe I can do that later. I'll grab the soapstone and move up to you. All right. It is a really nice thing. Although I do so much extra damage anyway that it doesn't totally matter, but... All right, here and we that's are. That's us, right? Yes, it is. There are now two clues on this location. And how, can you explain to me how the two clues got there again? I'm sorry. Uh, after you move, after it's revealed. No. After you move to it, place a clue. All right, yeah. And again, we need them all just to get up, right? Yep. All right, no enemies. Go ahead and upkeep. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Tickle right tickle I'm getting an echo. I got. From you. If it is your turn, lose an action. Otherwise, lose an action during my next. Great. I'm coming through on your speaker. Or I was. Hmm. All good. All right. Uh, okay. Ugh. How many? How much doom do we have? Three of six. Yikes. Four. Four, Four of six. <laughs> Unless you just put one up. Did you just put one up? No. Oh, Four. awesome. Failing this. Uh, oh, with that attitude. Well, I'm failing. Why do you keep drawing that? Because there's two of them in the bag. All right, so I've also... I'm at 6-4. Okay. That's Ooh. not good. Nope. Your card. Okay. Oof, I'm a little scared to draw now. Ice Shaft. Test agility for each snowflake revealed. Take damage. If you fail, take two damage. Oh, all right. I am down one, and it's just going to be that way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Take two damage. This oh. mountain is deadly, dude. It is horrible. All right. Let me go first, okay? Sure. All right. I'm going to spend two actions. Now, okay, one one William Dyer. I'll exhaust him. Thank you. And give you back some sanity, because you seem to be a little bit wonky over there. Yeah, for only being on the first level here. Then I'm going to spend $2 and bring out a medical student to do the same thing for you. One oh, my one. God, thank you. Um, I don't think she's long for this world, if I'm being honest. <laughs> then what is our shroud here? It's a three. I know. God, do I do the crucius? I don't add two bless to the bag. Is that worth it? It doesn't seem like that high, right? No, I kind of like your crucius for when there's also curses in the bag. Yeah, okay. Um, or when it adds five. Mm-hmm. Then, for my next trick, I'm just going to draw. All right. Toe to toe. Okay, I'm going to pick up this wooden sledge. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take the charge as a resource. Okay. Now, I better investigate. Let's pitch a perception okay. and do that. So I'm a six on a three. Uh oh. Minus two. Yay! That is one clue. I do not get to scavenge. Next. Where do I put all those snowflakes in the bag? I will wing it and pretend I didn't hear you. Oh, I get to draw a card <laughs> for that. Discard an asset you control. God. Uh, that's going to be. What card the... is that? Oh, tech review, right. Yeah, that's going to be my EN chart, because I can get it back. Uh, okay. Um, I'll deal with that card, put it up, take the Thank you. Yep. So I'm winging it now. It is a two, and I'm a four. Yep, literally winging it. 
Wow. We just, we just can't catch a break. No. Okay. Uh, then I'm spending two for some bandages for my free action. And I guess I'm just... God, I need my keys. I'm going to wooden sledge yeah. and search the top six cards of my deck. Okay. For a key ring, a flashlight, and a keepsake. That's but you know what? Game. Maybe I wouldn't have actually put out the, uh, the bandages had I done that. Well, bandages are good because I keep taking damage. That's true. Those go in your hand, right? No, they go on the sledge. And then the sledge just... Oh, they're in anyone's hand, right? That's yeah. Right. Okay, right. yeah, you know what? I will put out the bandages. All right. We're good. Are we? Well... Okay. Monsters, next, no monsters. Next turn's my good turn. Upkeep. Well connected. Okay. And five doom, son. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. What do we oh, got here? Do we have anything special? No, we didn't. No. <laughs> oh. This is such an awful card. Oh my god. Okay. Your sledge with everything on it is out of the game, or just go, okay, it goes down. They would get discarded, and then I'd end up moving down one. Which sucks for you, because then that's another clue on that location when I move back to it. So we're hoping for a... We're hoping for... I'm, I'm breaking even. I'm breaking even. Well, hold on, hold on. I got it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you, you know what? You needed that. I did. It was about bloody time. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Would you like me to go first? Um. Will it matter? I'm trying to feel, figure out how I want to deal with this guy. Three damage, huh? Uh, if you got a, th a reason to go first, do it. Okay. That I mean, would just... We can get out of here, right? Well, wait, if I go first, I can heal more horror off you, but... You can. And if I go first, you can move. Okay. Okay. So we are... I just put that on, right? So this is my good... This is my strong action turn. Okay. So I'm a seven on a three. Okay, that's a pass. I get the other clue. I get to scavenge back my Eon chart. So that's nice. been one action. So for my second action, I will play out said Eon chart. free move. Whee. Shuffle a tiki guard into my deck. Well, that's fun. It is. Uh, this is four shroud, hey? I'm going to play wing it. Wait, do, do I you have, have another action still? Yep, because I, I quick... Ooh, or do I well connected? No, I'll do that next turn. Alright, so I winging it. And... Uh, why, did, why did you ooh. throw Schaffner's catalog into your discard? Because uh, I used up all the resources. Oh, okay. Does the game owe me? Does the game owe me? The game owes you. It owes you. Oh. Oh. 
I guess it owes you another gut punch. <laughs> that's all that's in this bag. Are those things not in the sledge still? I don't know. Are they? I mean, does it say if you... Does it say anything about it? Oh, yeah, they're attached to that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, but you left me, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm up one on this guy with a one-handed sledgehammer. I will use my last jury rig and be up three on him. That's just enough. I will use one of the green soapstones to finish him off. Nice. Okay, that's one thing. My second thing will be to climb up to you. Awesome. Taking another ticky leaky card, right? Yep. Okay, that's charming. Why do I have so many cards? Oh, all those tech leakies. That's right. Uh, and for my last act, I think, you know what I think, Mike? I think it might be time to get some blessed tokens in here. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I will investigate. I'll play the Signum Floppy Flop, so I'm down two, right? You are down two. Uh, but I will add no, you're three sorry. blessed tokens. Yeah, you're down three. Well, this does count as a wild, though, for the test, right? Base skill value. Uh, yeah. The, the card itself has a pip. So I'm down two. Not no, that it, it really matters. Yeah, you're down two, but you put three in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Ready. You want to help me? <laughs> uh, you pitch the jury rig. No, no, wait, you're down. <laughs> For being down, down two? two? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I missed. All right, but I missed painlessly and in a way that I knew, like, I'm okay with that. All, All right. right. Good. All right, it is now the enemy phase. There are no enemies. Go ahead and upkeep. Discard an asset you control. Oh. Mike, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to say, but you have a story to read us. Yeah, you know what? Hang on. I'm I'm really, really I think the bandages have to go. Okay. Because we're I'm wasting all my actions. Okay. Alright. The mountainside splits and erupts with snow. A storm of jagged ice shards bursts forth from the womb of the mountain. Behind it, the beast emerges. A whirlwind of mist, haunting alien shapes. Hideous effluvia. It sets its terrible gaze on your party and reaches for you with a tendril of miasma. Put Ooh. the set-aside Terror of the Stars enemy into play at the highest level location with one or more investigators. We each lose control of all expedition assets and place them at our location. Okay. Uh, and then I have to read you a story, it looks like. All right, so this thing, is he massive? Yeah, he's massive. And Hunter, and nine hit points. And then Here we, he is. we read the interlude, Tragedy yep. Strikes. I'm on it. Hold on a sec. There's a soapstone with us, right? You got your sledge up there? Uh, oh. <laughs> I've been not <laughs> holding onto my sledge more than I've been holding onto my sledge. That's true. It's hard. Well, it's kind of bulky, right? Yeah. All right, Mike, find each surviving expedition member, including those currently under investigator's control who do not have a check mark drawn next to their name in the expedition team. You're probably and wondering what that means. Random. <laughs> okay. Choose one of them at random. Let me, let me roll the, the die of destiny here. It is Elia. Okay. It all happens in the blink of an eye. You have only enough time to scream your companion's name before they are seized. It's many shifting shapes coil about on their body. They struggle to escape, but it is hopeless. Then, without a moment of consideration, it shoves its tendrils into its victim's body and yanks them apart like a piece of uncooked meat. A spray of blood stains the snow crimson. It drops what remains of your companion unceremoniously onto the ground, and it turns its attention to you. 
in the expedition team section of the campaign log, cross off Elias' name. Second death. Damn. All right, this guy, I'm guessing, is pretty chunky. All right. Very. X is the level. Look at his well, force it's good effect. that we didn't go very far. At the end of the round, move all investigators at his location to the location directly below it. Into the windswept path that you were so scared of. Yeah, so not good. Uh, we, we're getting screwed so hard with this. Uh, now where, with counter cards. Where are we? We're on the rocky ledge, right? Yeah. Which or is what? level two? Yeah, but we're going to get pushed down, and because we moved there, we're going to put clues on it so we can't get back up until we investigate. Well, why don't we just hit him hard a bunch of times? We can try. Through the ice. Card. Guess what? We're not moving. Well, we could move, but, you know. Nightmarish Vapors. Peril. You must either lose two actions or shuffle the two. Oh, I'll take the two cards. All right. There are now officially okay. more tiki cards in our decks than uh, in in the deck. So he's only a two, right? He's only a two, but he's got nine health, and he's massive. Okay. So I'm trying to think of the, the best way to do this. If you're ready, I can hit him so many times. All right, how many times is my thing? Your thing? I can do it as many times. Unlimited. As I want. Yeah. Okay. 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 Can I go first? Please. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I'm going to let him hit me. Okay? Okay. So, my first action is toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's hitting okay. you for two and two. So, he's hitting... Yeah, what a horrible turn to get rid of bandages, hey? He's hitting the med student for one and one, and me one. Okay, so I automatically hit him for uh, two. Sanity, what'd you do with your sanity? Uh, one on the keepsake and one on the med student. Okay. Um, all right, so I automatically hit him with that for two damage, right? Is it two? Yep. Okay. After he attacks me, I'll deal him one damage. Okay? All right. He's so he's at dead. three right now, right? Yep. Just do that two more times. <laughs> um, can I play the counter punch for the same attack? Uh, did he attack you? Yeah. Then yes, when you I can. Went toe to, when I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Then yes, you can. And that's fast. So I'll play that for zero. Five now, on a two. It is only a one damage thing, right? I yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, he... we're having a rough go. He's not like retaliate, is he? No. Okay. All right. So he's still at three damage on him, right? Yeah. Okay. Then I will play one two punch. Oh, I do have a bangle of jangles. Because he attacked me, right? Right. Okay, one, two punch, plus one for this attack. If you succeed, you may fight him again. Okay. So, I'm at plus one, six, so I'm at plus four. Okay. Okay. Okay, I hit him for one. Okay. I immediately follow that up. With a minus one, which hits him for two more. He's at six. Okay. Mike, I have one more action. I'm going to hit him with a sledgehammer. 
and I will bangle jangles it, and I'm up four with a one-handed swing. This will only deal two damage. It'll be one short because of that damn one I missed. Yeah. But can you poke him? He's only a two. All right. Maybe. Right, minus, so minus one, two, three. three. Minus three. That's a success for two. If only I had the soapstone. Right? Yeah. All right. I hit him for eight, Mike. Yeah. Please finish him. Remember what I said about Bob having one good thing in him? I'm spending it on a punch. Just be aware of that. Well, hold on now. When you play well connected, he's going to hit you. You're right. I can't play well connected. Never mind. Well, unless it's fast, right? Because it's not an item, right? Yeah, it's not fast. So I don't know that I can take another big punch from him. I'm up by two. Hold on a sec. I can get you up by three, but I will lose Heroic Rescue. I mean, we could just let him hit me again um, after you put in Well Connected. But you don't want to take that hit. I, it's uncomfortable. I don't have much yeah. soak for physical anymore. So why don't I put you up three? Sure. Since you only oh ever draw that. There we go. Dead. All right. So he's gone. Well done. Nice work, Bob. All right. Whew. Whew. <laughs> well connected out for my second action. Did you do anything with the red clock? Did you forget? Uh, red clock was getting a resource because this is every, an every okay. second turn thing. Let no. us red key. I'm a four on a two. Four. Zero, thankfully. I, actually, I should only have one resource now. Uh, you know what? I succeeded by two. Which means you I did. get to pull something back from my discard pile. Hello, catalog. Uh, How many actions do you have left? Uh, none. Uh, none. I use my free action to pull out the catalog. Okay. Ready? Well, that was exhilarating, Mike. It was. That was really fun. We just have to uh, get out. Of oh, wait. Hang on. We, di we didn't even uh, read the next agenda. Terror descends. The oh. once flurrying <laughs> snow has become a tempest of wind and heavy snowfall. If you don't make it across the peak soon, you'll be forced to take shelter or spend the rest of eternity as a frozen corpse along the mountainside. That doesn't sound good. No, let's just bloody run. I think it's, I think it's trying to say go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I wonder if I'm ever going to need those green gems again. I don't know. Upkeep. I mean, I guess there's always monsters that get stronger. Tickalini! Today, I take a horror. Sweet. And that's going to go right on William Dyer. <laughs> he understands. It's hard out here, you know? I know. I think our our friends should suffer right along with us. Of course, one did just die. All right. Um, that was upkeep. Doom. One doom. And cards. Glyphs the unthinkable. Oh, that's okay. So I draw it and resolve its effects. Lose two resources. Boo. Uh, I get to place it into anybody's deck. I'm going to put it in mine because I don't care about that. What about your loan? Yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> uh, my card is Blasphemous Visions. Shuffle the top card, take the leaky in your deck without looking at it, then put this into my threader. Resolve. There is... <laughs> what? Horrible. Horrible card. <laughs> that ruins games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my go golly. All right. 
Um, <laughs> Shall I go first? Uh, yeah, can you get us out of here? I can try. Thanks. Okay. Let us, uh, let us investigate. We're going to go all out on this one. Red clock puts me up plus three. It does it ever. Okay. So let's scavenge something good. Uh, I guess the bandages are coming back. Or the gravedigger shovel. No, we're putting oh. out the gravedigger shovel. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's my first action. Uh, I'm gonna move for free with Eon chart. Do you no, want to no. grab the sledge or anything? I'm grabbing the sledge first. Then I'm moving for free with the Eon chart. And then I'm going to put out the, uh, the flashlight. Okay. Eon. Let's do a move here. You have to test to get out of here. Oh, for Pete's sake, I do, don't I? Yep. Testing, what, three or two? Uh, it's through two. Spending Avery. Uh, I pass. Thank you, Avery. Uh, yeah, because that puts me at two to two, exactly. So I get yeah. through it. We are, uh... Which doesn't discard it, right? Oh, for sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm not... I'm I'm wasting too many actions on this damn sled. This is like five actions now. Oops. Sorry. He goes out. Did okay. you lose the sledge again? Well, I will when I pull one, two, three... Was it four? Yeah. That auto fail. Um, hey, that's the first time I've seen that. Okay, sled is gone. As is my cherished keepsake. I'm never picking that thing up again. Um, so, <laughs> so I investigated. I picked up the sled for no reason. The move was free, which means okay. I have one more action to play. Uh, we are going to. Put out the shovel. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm first going to. I it's even against my better judgment. I'm grabbing these rocks again. You're gonna That's one. Hang on. Hang on. Can I know you... I'm gonna lose them, but I'll lose them where I am. Like it's the only way to bring them up there, right? That's true. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Then I'm going to try to get out of here. And it's two to two, right? Yeah. Okay. You got hey. up. You got up. I got up. All right. I'm hanging with you. I'm dropping the damn stones. Well, you have to test first. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you have a Sigma oh, Crucis don't. in hand? I do. This is, uh... is it worth it. This would put four blessed tokens in the bag. It's a six difficulty? Oh, sorry, no. It's a four difficulty. Well, that's still good. And uh, I think I have... And it I will put me one. down one. Let me know when you got him in there. How many are you putting in? Three? I will put in three. Done. Right? It's a, What's the difficulty? Five, right? Yeah. And then I am going, uh, I am down two for this test. You ready? Yep. Minus three. Minus one. So I just no, missed no, it. No, not minus one. Minus level of your location, which is three. Right, but then I had a blessed token. I thought you were down by two to start. Well, I was. Fair point. Well, I'll lose those rocks. Whew. Whoa, come back. And I think that's me. All no. right. No, I have one more action. Because that was all part of a move. Did you get rid of the Blasphemous Visions? 
Nope, I'm going to try. Right now. I am up one. <laughs> yep. I am still blasphemous. All right. End of round. Uh, no monsters, right? No monsters. Upkeep. Brute force. Okay. Uh, two doom, Mike. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Bye. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So what level are we on? Three or four? We are on three. So I am now at two. Immediately. And uh, I'm even. So I move down again, putting a clue at this location. Oh. I am now testing again. I'm going to pitch through dealing, so I'm up by two. Up by four. Passed, thank God. Uh, that's <laughs> Avalanche. That is that is the card to get to not see in this game. Snowfall. Oh, There's my. There's two clues <laughs> on your location. Why do you hate me? <laughs> um... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm down to trying to read. Well, All right. I'm going to spend one uh, Eon chart moving. I'll spend an, an action. No, oh, I can't. I have to investigate first. You have to investigate, yeah. I will spend a supply to investigate. I succeed by, what is that thing, a one? So I get to scavenge back something. Aren't you glad that through the ice is still there on the next one? Oh, I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. <laughs> so I free move. Uh, I can't free move. I have to test two. I pass. Wow. Which means it's still there. Yep. So for my second action, I'm going to attempt to move to you and pass. Wow. For my third action... Bob, I'm... where were you? <laughs> uh... Where's the sled? <laughs> third action, I'm going to investigate with the, with the flashlight... Oh, we have two more clues on this, don't we? We do. Yeah. Or did it? Didn't it come with clues? Yeah. And then I drew snowfall, <laughs> which doubles the clues on it, or just adds two. Sweet. Uh, yes. You know what? I'm just gonna pitch. No, I'm not. I'm gonna use uh, flashlight and uh, investigate normally. That's an auto fail. Awesome. Okay. Me? Yeah, it's you. Oh, I've got to get rid of Blasphemous Visions if you're okay with that. Yep. What's it do? Uh, you're lucky there's no enemies here. Okay. One action. Two actions. Nope. I guess I'll try again. I'll uh, snowflake that. You just drew okay, a minus good. one. Yep. Thank you. I actually got rid of it. Took a while. All right, upkeep. Dodge, that could be useful. Okay. Uh, three doom. We cannot play cards or draw cards from our decks. For one round, eh? For one round. Okay. And I drew hypothermia again. Will three, what's the level? Uh, three. Okay, so it's not as awful. I'm just up one. 
Auto fail. Okay, what, what's the fail again? You failed by three. If you fail, either add a snowflake or take a horror for each point you fail by. Daniel. Uh, snowflake. Are you serious? That's three horror, dude. You realize we're going to be auto failing like for the rest of the game, right? Well, what am I going to do three horror? You've, you're sacrificing short-term gain for right. a long-term loss. Okay, fine. I'll take three horror. I'm putting three of it. Don't you have dire? I'm putting two of it on dire and one on me. Then at least you fine. can heal yourself. And I have a cheap. I have a keepsake. All right, you're up. Or we're up. Okay. Oof. Spending one on winging it. Minus three. Minus three. Uh, negates my red clock. So I succeed by one. I get a clue. Woof. All right. Oh, now you can play it again, right? I can, but I'm not up by that much anymore. Minus one shroud for this investigation. You're up, what, two? Yeah, it's not worth it. And it, it, the investigate's on the card, so I can't combo it with anything. I can only combo it with well-connected and red With well-connected, right? Which yeah. gives me right now a plus one, because I've been losing all my which, money. Which will put you at plus three. Okay, let's do it. Right? Yeah. Which... There it is. Whew. Two the clues. only card, the only token Mike draws. All right. And I'm not allowed to play anything. Correct. Uh oh, didn't you play winging it? Shoot, I played winging it twice. Didn't I? Can you play it from a discard and it doesn't count? Or? Nope, that's playing a card. It's playing okay. a card. So do everything back. You have not done anything. Yeah, I have. I just... Uh, you I normal put, investigated? I too normal investigated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else you got? Uh, flashlight to investigate. That's a pass. Nice. And... That's a clue. So that's, so that's got to be you, right? Yep, that's all I can do. Hey, that was great. <laughs> um, it's going to be so bloody hard getting to the top here. In how many rounds? Yeah. Five? Yep. I know it sounds like a lot. We don't have a lot. No, it's not a lot. I, I appreciate that. Um, I don't really have much to do. Do you want to pick up a sled? <laughs> um... Or a no, soap but stone? I should pick up those rocks. Pick up the rocks then. I'll pick up the rocks. Where did I put them? There they are. Okay. And then I'll I'll draw a card. Uh, can you? I can draw, can I? Oh, I just can't nope. play. You cannot play or draw. That's a windy day. It's a windy day. Well then, I will have dire heal himself you can't why is As that for another another ally he cannot Oof. heal himself oh i wish i read that before i got him a little kooky well then he'll heal you thank you wait you're five away i'm four away he's healing me okay then for my last thing should i grab the sledge do we need it you might as well Huh? If we can get it to the top, it's useful. Okay. It's just, we can't really do anything else here, can we? No. Come on, Sledge. Okay. It comes to the keepsake. To use, to use it as an action, right? Okay. All right. So, upkeep. Whoops. Oh. That button. 
Take a Lily. That's a good card to have. Take a horror. Okay. <laughs> I will. Cycle Suns, you're awesome. <laughs> I love that I was so quick with that frost token. Like, nope, I'm frosting it. <laughs> In our last round. Yeah. Oh, this game hates us. It's it's it maybe it maybe does. Uh for Doom. Uh, hang on here. Finally, something to kill. Hang on. Sweet. Uh, guess what? What? You handle this. Okay. That puts me at uh, a magic 10 resources. Okay. And my card is hanging on the edge. Oh. I don't want this, Mike. Fleetness? I, am... I, I got nothing. I got no fleet. Deaths. I know. I'm uh, down one. It's just going to be that way. Here we go. Down do you two. Want, do you want me to? No, it doesn't matter. Why? I could have totally. Oh, right. Or could you? Yeah, I'm still down one. Okay. Take two damage. Naturally. Get rid of all those stupid things. Take two. I'm almost dead. Yeah. And yeah. move down, right? And you move down. Oh, there's no Arctic wind anymore. All right. And I've gone down to through the ice. Uh, so you'll have to get back up and not die. Yep. But first, I'm surrounded by a monster. He's got three fight, four damage, eh? And I lost my little stones. I got no jury rig. All right. Wow. Wow. Wow, Mike. Yeah. We got hosed. We got hosed. He doesn't do much damage, but he does enough. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to two-handed sledgehammer him. Okay? Okay. What if I, what if I one-handed and brute force him? Uh, basic fight action. Yeah. All right. Oh, finally had the stones, Mike. I know. Um. Actually, I'm gonna basic fight action, and I'm up four. Right? That's not enough, is it? All right, I'm gonna sledgehammer him. A double double sledge. Okay. 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 Minus one. That hits him for three, and then it says, when you deal damage for each point of damage, discard the top and draw each weakness. Okay. This tech leaky is place one of your clues. Ha ha. Can you deal with that card? Yep. All right, I'll draw this one, which is toe to toe. Oh, and I'll draw this one, which is dodge. All right, now I need to hit him one more time, don't I? Yep. I'm just going to punch him in the face. Because. Because. I'm only up two. Oh, my Look God. Look at that. <laughs> All right. And he... I still have to do that thing, though, right? Uh, I think so. Got rid yeah. of cheap. There goes a keepsake. That's me, man. Stuck down here. I see. Go on without me. Get to the top, Bob. I'm throwing a gravedigger shovel away to just get that clue. Brilliant. Getting my resource from Red Clock. Uh, so action two. I am moving up. Sled be damned. Oh, four clues. Take a damage, hey? 
That's going to kill me, just getting there. Unless I kill Dyer. <laughs> All right. Oops. I'm going to winging it. For my third action. Nice. Sweet. That's one. Oops. You get to scavenge, right? I do get to scavenge. What you got worth pulling back? Bandages are no longer useful if you're one from death. So the shovel again. And then I will uh, spend my last from the catalog. Get the key ring out. That's you? That's me. Okay, let's hope I draw a soak. No monsters. I drew true grit. Oh my god. That could save us, Mike. It absolutely could. Okay. Uh, five doom. Place two clues on this location. Mine is... Polar Vortex. Okay. I don't want to end where I am. I'm pretty cool with getting that draw. Yep. All right. All right. So can I run to you? Go nuts, man. One, two, three dollars for True Grit. That was huge. That was huge. Okay, then I got, I'm even on trying to get out of this ice, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's gone now. It's, it's gone. I will put one damage on True Grit. And then one and more. one Psychosis on the Keepsake. Now, that actually cost my move, though, right? Sure did. So then I'll go up to... This one. Does this even matter? I don't have an asset. Uh, oh, I guess something yes, bad could happen. Well, because you might end up dropping down one again if you draw the cultist. Okay. Uh, I'm at even, right? No, I'm way below even. Just don't draw the cultist. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Well, that's okay. good. Not the cultist. All right. And then for my last action, I will come to you. Uh, I thought you did move. your reactions. No, true grit. No. Move, move. True grit. Oh, yeah. I'm down one still, aren't I? Yeah. I'm coming, Bob. All right. I'm coming. Do, 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 do. I should have a wing yet in here. Yep, I do. Do we have any fun things to say to the people watching? Oh, Sego Stone has been awesome. <laughs> Curse awesome. of the Slat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am winging it, and I am up by a lot. Uh, okay, that is definitely a lot. So, uh, I get to scavenge, and I am not paying, buying anything anymore. I'm done with that. I need to save my moolah, so I'm just going to scavenge back my catalog because it's got a book pip. But I do get two clues yep. from that endeavor. Yep. Uh, next up, I'm going to investigate and well connect it at the same time. Look at that. I pass. I get another clue. How many have you gotten so far? Four. There should be two left. There should be two left, right? Okay. And uh, now I'm just going to gearing. Nice work. There we go. Okay. Oh, I can put out something for free. Leather coat. Oh, God, I could use a leather coat. All right. <laughs> All right, upkeep. upkeep. Manual dex is good to see. Okay. Uh, six doom. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, manual decks and well connected this. Way to put a way to put a leather coat on. All right. Uh, I pass. I draw a card. Lose two resources. Not the worst. Not the worst because uh, my, it looks like my pact is going to be okay. Ugh. All right. My draw is Snowfall. Place two clues on your location. <laughs> on mine, Mike. <sighs> I can't get out. Oh, for heaven's sake. Shroud three. <sighs> like. What's our doom? Six. Do you want to leave me? I don't know how many clues the next one is. I really don't remember. Um, I understand. Like, is this the last card in the deck? It is. Right? Or is there another agenda under it? Uh, I think this is the last act. Oh, it's you just know the agenda deck. get to the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're, this is it. We just have to get to the top of the mountain. One of us does. And resign. And resign. I say leave me, dude. One, two, three. Then you get stuck there. No, I, we can't do it. We can't do it if I come get you. We only have two rounds. <sighs> I'm sorry, dude. No, leave me. Um... Let me see, you know, like, see, I'm down two, right? And there's some bless in the bag, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. Um... <laughs> Has any monster attacked me and I forgot to get my bangle? No, I don't think so. I don't either. All right. Ready? I'm going to bless and get a zero, okay? Okay. Here we go. Oh. That's just plus one. <laughs> I would have automatically seen it where I attacked. All right. Um, I'll try again. Auto fail. Okay. And I'll try again. Wow. Yep. I would have got him if something tried to hit me. Indeed. All right. You hear my voice calling, Mike. Go without me. I I I, I read the first one. So we are at plus one, minus one. That is a pass. I get the last clue. We'll lose a victory point on the white bluff, sadly. Oof. You can only discover here by investigating. When the summit is revealed, add a snowflake. <laughs> well, you can just resign. You don't need to even get the clues, right? You're right. It's just... Uh, it says yeah. get to the summit, right? Yep. How many... And one round left? It's impossible. It's impossible. Do you need to resign now? Or can you wait to see what happens to me? I can wait, but if I get an avalanche? Clues. Get out. I resign. Okay. I guess avalanche uh, doesn't work on that level. It might. Well, it doesn't no. matter. Just get it. Just, I mean... I'll, uh... Yeah. Because then this an encounter card. It could go bad, too. Yeah, you're too. right. I'm, I'm, I'm resigning. Yeah. yeah. I got to take a leaky, which is fine. Maybe it kills me. Take a horror. Okay. I will take it. 
Seven Doom. I desperately investigate. <laughs> no, no, you have to draw your encounter card first. Oh, you're right. Please be a monster. It is. Okay. All right. So what level am I on? Three? You're on three. Okay. So for my first act, I'm going to hit him with a sledgehammer. Do it. Or should I just let him hit me? Where did you <laughs> drop your sledge? Oh, one up from where I am. Oh, I could have taken the sledge. <laughs> All right, sledgehammer. To seven, I'm at four. Wow. Oof. He's gone. That's two actions. He's gone? And oh, I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's gone. And then I'll investigate. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Okay, upkeep. Well, it's not a tekaliki. Um, Mike, what happens? The snowfall is so thick now that you can no longer see your destination, nor can you hear your companion's shouts over the howling wind. Every step takes the breath out of you. The air is so thin up here, it's a wonder you even have any breath to spare. You glance up at the blanket of white cast in an endless net overhead. Perhaps you were never close to the summit. Just another trick of the eye, like everything else in this godforsaken place. Uh, if one or more have resigned, we go to R1. Okay. Story time, Mike. The view from the summit is breathtaking, but you're in no mood to enjoy the spectacle. Sprawled before you, on the other side of these accursed peaks, lies the city described in Dyer's report. Its haunting visage is unmistakable. Dozens of conical and pyramid pyramidal buildings of dark slate and sandstone are honeycombed throughout the region like a labyrinth of perfect geometric shapes. Though weathered by the ages, the city still stands, hidden by the jagged peaks in the heavy snow. For a while, you stand in silence and take in the wondrous sight. If it weren't for the many trials you faced along the way, it would be a moment of triumph. But after the sacrifices made to get here, the victory rings hollow. A freezing wind blows across the peaks, the air is too thin for you to linger here. After a moment's rest, you begin the long trek down into the alien city. You'll have to make camp before you reach the bottom. With any luck, you'll be hidden from the dreadful creatures that dwell there. Mike, in our campaign log, please record the team climb to the summit. Awesome. We each get XP equal to the victory display. One, two, five, maybe? three, four, five. Okay. All right. For each expedition asset in the victory display, an investigator may choose to add it to their deck. Uh, zero. Okay. For each expedition asset that's not in the victory display, cross it off. Uh, okay. In the expedition team section of the campaign log, record the amount of damage and horror on each partner asset in play. Uh, so you have three on Dire now. Mm hmm. Proceed to interlude two The Endless Night. All right. Endless night one. Once again safe, you and your companions set up camp in silence. You marvel Wait, at how... Mike, I, think we, I think we read the wrong one. Why? We read resolution one if, if at least one person resigns. Yeah, but look at the objective. Get to the top of the mountain. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advanced. So I had to die first for us to get R2. Uh, no, no. R2 is if not, no one gets to the peak. Well, what's the flip side of the act deck, then? It's probably R1. Yeah, it's R1. They're both R1. Oh, okay. 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 We just, uh, we lost victory points. Okay. And some of our expedition. Uh, and how do we have gotten to R2? All dying? Yeah, if no one made it to the top. Oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> I'm looking at the... I'm reading right. a little bit. Go ahead and read us Endless Night. Once again safe, you and your companions set up camp in silence. You marvel how much quieter the evening is compared to those that came before, be it due to your dwindling numbers or the grim mood that hangs over the camp. But the quiet is anything but peaceful. 
As the hours pass, you can't seem to get any rest. You decide instead to check your companions. Guess what? We get to talk to three companions again. Mm. And we can talk to the dead ones, too. We can? Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Daniel, would you like to pick someone? Yeah, um... I'll talk to the guy I came with. To Dyer? Yeah. All right, then, uh, let's see. The professor paces back and forth, running his fingers through his graying hair. They're connected. They must be connected, he rambles to himself as you approach. The other things in these manifestations, these barrages, he continues, as if to answer your unspoken question. When we were here last, I saw images of the other things in conflict with other species, other alien beings. But what if the true source of their fear lies here on Earth? His gaze meets yours. What if this wasn't their true home? What if, what if they were guarding something? Speaking with Professor Dyer helps you see reason within this madness. Any one investigator may choose and remove up to five Tequila Lee weaknesses from their deck. Oh. Uh, that's um, probably going to be you, because I have only one. I, I might have a lot. You have four. Five. Uh, I have five? <laughs> <laughs> Let's choose me. Well, you get to pick. I can only, I can only four. You count four. One, two. Oh yeah, three, right. Because there's one in my, in my discard pile, isn't there? Four. Yeah, there it is. So I have two, and you have three. I have four. I will four. take all four of mine. Okay, if that's done. right. Yeah, I don't care. Cool. Who are you talking to? Um, I'm talking to Avery Claypool. You find Claypool at the edge of the camp, looking out over the alien city. Remarkable, isn't it? You nod and mention that the architecture is unlike anything you've ever seen before. No, not that. I mean, that too, but look. He points to the enormous peaks looming around the city in every direction, like a boundary. It's built to block and funnel the wind. They chose precisely the right place to build their city. And the way these structures and streets are built, they're mostly protected from excess snowfall. He glances at you meaningfully before continuing. These creatures chose the harshest place on Earth to make their home, and despite all odds, they thrived. You wonder if perhaps this means the inclement weather you face thus far will abate during the next leg of your journey. Unlikely, he responds. A lot of the natural safeguards they've built into their city seem to have weathered away, and there's likely a lot more ice than there would have been back in their time. But I'll make sure we avoid the nastiest of it. Claypool's predictions help you stay safe from the inclement weather. Remove a frost token from the chaos bag. You always do that. We have, uh, <laughs> we're back down to four. Like, is Dr. Kinsler sharing her research with us? No. Okay. Um, what a jerk. I, yeah, we missed that path. Because well, I was busy uh, talk... removing snowflakes. Let's talk to Roald Ellsworth. All right. Ellsworth claps you on the shoulder as you approach, handing you a small pack of supplies. Come on, he says, motioning toward the city. We are going on a little trip. Together, you trudge through the snow and ice, making your way in deep darkness down the side of the mountain slope, until at last you reach the angular rooftop of one of the city's basalt structures. Here, just as I thought, he points to an entrance to the building, a window half buried by snow in the side of the slope. We can enter the building through here and make our way down to street level. It'll be far easier than slogging through the snow, don't you think? Here, I'll mark it on our map. Let us get back to camp before we lose our way. Scouting with Ellsworth gives you the insight into the journey ahead. In your campaign log record, the investigators scouted the city outskirts. Well, that's good. Sorry. Yeah, you said rolled, right? Yep. Okay. And since Avery is alive, when you return to camp, Claypool approaches in a panic, lugging a backpack full of equipment. Rolled, I, I thought... He trails off, relieved. Avery, were you... Ellsworth chances the slightest of smiles. Were you worried about me? Claypool drops his pack and rolls his eyes. I'm allowed, am I not? You chuckle to yourself and sneak off as the two reconnect. Oh. All right. Now, what do we do with Endless Night 2? Endless Night 2. You try in vain to sleep, but the night seems to go on forever. Your thoughts meandering endlessly in a maze of worry and doubt. Uh, we proceed to Scenario 3, City of the Elder Things. Well, have we already played Scenario 3, question mark, Fatal Rum Mirage? We're not allowed to. We're not? Nope. We are not allowed to. 
there are three or more names crossed out? Yep. How many have we lost? Just two? Just two. We've lost Danforth and uh, Elia. Okay. Yeah. And there you have it. What a heck of a game, hey? Scenario three. City of... Where's this Mirage one? Somewhere at the end. <laughs> it's hiding. Don't go looking for it. It doesn't exist. Interesting. So. Um, wow. So I need, Mike, I can level up with uh, survivor cards. And I have five XP, right? We have five. I uh, think I think I've got to get some way of getting clues in case something like this ever happens again where I'm just lost. Right. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to close out tabletop. Well, I'm at a point where I have the ability to do one. But it kind of depends on... You saw my deck, right? You saw mm -hmm. how I could yeah, do yeah. one, sometimes two awesome things a turn, and that's it. Yep. So I'm now set up that at least I can do an awesome thing a turn. So that can help in the combat department. I can try to gun for the shovel early, just so I have the extra plus two fight. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, I still have a ton of things I can spend XP on, so I, I don't know. I could all I could go for Joey the Rat, or I could go for. I think I might just save the XP, and okay. gun for the higher level red clock, because it's a, an extra dollar every round. And a guaranteed plus four every round. All right, um, Mike. I will have to be right back. Sure. Talk to the talk to the people. All right. Uh, so one of the things I I'm thinking. I bet, had I not wasted time pulling that sledge up, I probably could have uh, bailed Daniela out and got up. Probably. Because how many actions did I lose? Six, pulling that thing. Yeah, not worth it. Uh, interesting. Yeah, the big challenge for me is that I am not a seeker. The only way I can really get clues with any compression is winging it. Because that's all there is. The only other things that can do so in Rogue are the really big money things like Intel Report and the Allies. It's not really Bob's deal. So that's slowing us down for sure. The fact that I can only slurp one clue. Red Claw, come it. I think I have the XP now to get to the higher level. Yeah. So yeah, there you have it. It's a it's a very tough scenario. Um, I'm not, can you deal with this? And we can hear Daniel. <laughs> no, it's very tough. Avalanche uh, can be brutal. We only pulled one copy. I don't know how we only pulled one copy. Um, but dropping all our assets like that was pretty insane. Oh, I'm back. What happened? Hey, how hey. bad is it? I was just telling them how uh, uh, if I had not pulled the sled, I probably could have saved you. <laughs> That's like, what, 20 actions? 30? It was, um... It was a lot. It was a lot. All right. Well, um, uh, I guess next week we are going back into this game and we're going into the city of the Elder Into things. the city. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sego. So it was nice chatting with you. And uh, we Thanks, will see you everybody. next week. Good night, all.